Organizers of the Berlinale, the first of this year's major European film festivals, have presented the event's lineup. Featuring new movies by Wes Anderson and George Clooney, among others, the festival has also a strong contingent of Chinese films. Dieter Kuslik is the director. We see a lot of films about agriculture, about land, rep, um, land grabbing, it's called. We see a lot about people who are in migration and uh, are not paid correctly. And we see the whole disaster of the globalization. I want roadblocks at every junction for 50 kilometers. I want rail blocks at every train station for 100 kilometers. Get in! I want 50 men and 10 bloodhounds ready in five minutes. In a lighter mood, the festival opens with Wes Anderson's The Grand Budapest Hotel. With an A-list lineup including Ray Fiennes, Jude Law and Tilda Swinton, it's a comedy drama about the adventures of a legendary concierge at a famous European hotel between the two world wars. This year's festival will be a star-studded affair. We have George Clooney here, we have, will have Uma Thurman here, we will have uh, Wes Anderson with his whole crew, we have William Defoe. Um, I think we have such a lot of uh, uh, Patricia Arquette, we have a lot of stars, uh, Catherine Deneuve. Um, the carpet will be nice and shiny. We have been tasked to find and protect art that the Nazis have stolen. Well, Screening out of competition, George Clooney's fifth movie as a director, The Monuments Men, focuses on an allied platoon made up of museum directors, curators and art historians, whose task is to rescue artworks taken by the Nazis during World War II. We want to go into a war zone and tell our boys what they can and cannot blow up. That's the idea. Twenty movies will be competing for the Golden Bear at the Berlinale, which runs from the 6th to the 16th of February. I think that went well. We're going to start with a friend in Paris who's going to have some idea where the French art has been hidden. How can I help you steal our stolen art? 